So hi there. Today our challenge will be um, what kind of amount of milliampere the Mini 360 can output um, at our 5 voltage level that we um, adjusted to. Because all, after all you want to drive some LEDs or some other loads with the Mini 360 and it does not, not only count what voltage comes out but also which current it can deliver. And so we'll look at this now. So we have the inputs connected up here to the ground rail and we measure that and uh, from below to the 360 we go in with 8.99 volts so on my lap meter we have 9 volts and so now we measure the output and um, this is a good 5 volts 5.086 volts um, and we'll remember that and we'll use that now and we'll load the output with now um, some resistors and let's see what we get. So I have changed the setup a little bit um, so that now I can read uh, the milliampere we output on the output side here with this right multimeter and on the left multimeter we see the voltage. So um, the first thing I will do is I'll add a 10k resistor at the output with 5 volts that should give us roughly about half a milliampere let's see but it's around half a milliampere and we're still stable at our 5.87 volts you can use a 4.7k uh, resistor which should give us roughly around one milliampere. Yeah, so one milliampere. And still stable stuff stable, the 5.089 uh, volts. I think we're going to serious business now. Um, let us do a 1K resistor, which means we'll spit out five milliampere. So five milliampere output. 5.0 stable as always okay then as we lower the resistor to 470 ohms that should just give um, um, a current of around 10 milliampere yeah above 10 because we have um, 470 we're below a half um, half a kilo ohm and yay stable voltage source 5.9 something it goes up a little bit all right okay now we don't go down to 220 ohms um which is again um, smaller than the half so we end up somewhere between around 20 25 milliampere with this one let's see yeah, 22.8 and we're very, very stable at the output again, 5.09. We go to 100 plane, which must then yield around 50 milliampere. Yay, 50 milliampere and stable as always. I have these load resistors and this can endure higher power um, when um, so this has a 10 ohm resistance and so we'll need that so i put a bridge in here so i can not only connect one resistor but multiple ones and for short i disconnect the current so that nothing will go now we have something it reads 120 milliampere so 0 0.12 um ampere and the output is very stable and now let's remove, let's go to three 10 ohm resistors. Now we have 160 milliampere and still stable. Okay. Let's go to 20 ohms. 240 milliampere and still stable. Yeah, it starts to go down a little bit, but 
like we were at the start at 5.089 something, that's not remarkable. We go down to 10 ohms. Now that's the setup for with 5 volt for 500 milliampere. Now that is something. Okay, it's rough. It's uh, 460 milliampere. But we still, um, we only lost, like when we started out with 5.089, then we lost 0 0.004. This means 4 millivolt we lost only at the round 460 milliampere. So how can we get lower? We have to do two 10 amperes in parallel to simulate five ohms. Oh yeah, these get quite hot now here. I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, don't want to deal with that. <laughs> um, I don't know if I should go up to an ampere because an ampere through a 10 ohm resistor, that would be um, I squared times R would be the power, or then would be I squared would be one ampere and times 10, that would be 10 watts through this 10 ohm resistor. Um, but um, these are only rated for three watts. If we put two of them in parallel, so we will only do that for a short amount of time, just to see if our voltage, voltage source can supply an ampere um, at five volts. That would be very interesting. Famous last words, an ampere of current. Okay, all set up. Ready to go, we cannot measure up to 10 amperes. Let's do one ampere for around five seconds and see what happens. So, okay, only 600 milliampere, it doesn't go up and we break down. Okay, 3.5, let's, let's leave that. Um, okay, so that's quite interesting. Up to around 500 milliampere we can supply but then with an ampere we break down. So somewhere in between we break down here. So let's see again how the how the ten um, how the ten ohms behave. Yeah, very stable. So we need something in between uh, of ten of ten and five. What would happen if we put in parallel 20 and, 20 and 10? Now we would end around 6.66 ohms. That is a way we can go. So let's do this. 6.66 ohms. So we need 20 in parallel to... 20 in parallel to 10. So don't do any of this at home, even though I'm at home. So now we have 20 up here in parallel with 10. Let's give us 6.66. Let's see what yields that. Oh, it's stable. Around at 670. How can that be? before we were at around five and not stable. Okay. Ah, but it starts to go, flattens a little bit at 600 million pieces. And these things are getting hot, let's leave it. <laughs> okay. Um, so 600 milli some peer can be surprised, that thing hot? Wow, it's cool, this stuff. Oh, very cool. This one's hot here, though. Hey, guys, just one very important last puzzle piece. Um, so I found three of this 
8 ohm resistors and I have them in parallel measured and as you see they are 3 ohm or 2.9 so 3 ohm or less these 3 in par parallel these 3 um, this 3 8 ohm resistors and if you calculate the numbers if you have 5 volts across um, 3 ohms like here then you might get 1.6 amps and as I said earlier, that the thing here, the Mini 3C, cannot, um, I would only output 500 milliampers with this. Um, I take it back. Um, it's very clear that it can output more. So now I have these three 8 ohm resistors in parallel, yielding around 3 ohms. And um, then I have, we have at the input 5.16 something volt. Um, and I have not yet connected um, the ampere meter, so you see nothing is measured. And uh, as we calculated these 5 volts here across these 3 ohms here, they should yield around 1.6 or above 1.6 um, amperes on the output. And I only can show it to you, watch very closely this red m m meter here, because I can only do it for a short time before it um, is getting all these resistors are getting too hot um, and now let's do it and you see 1.4 1.41 okay so let's um, this um, disconnect and so the thing is um, um, this this um, mini 360 can output an ampere or more let's do it again quickly 1.4. Um, um, don't let be yourself be distracted from what I said with the 500 milliampers earlier, um, because also I think my lab power supply limited me in the current that uh, that can be delivered, and so yeah, feel free to um, at your own <laughs> risk and your own um, experiments to also consider one amp of output and more with this thing. I'll have to go back to the data sheet to this, but now it's getting late. I'm out. Peace. But that's it for the moment. Thank you for watching and have fun and we'll see us.